Good evening. We'll call the Hayward and Iowa City Council to order on Wednesday, July the 10th, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. All present are council members other than Rob. Uh, Wes Sue has a softball game tonight, so we wish them the best of luck with that. If you wish to address the council tonight, uh, public hearing on number 4A or otherwise uh, at open business from the community on uh, number 1C. For those of you that might be joining us for the first time, the council members always get their packets uh, electronically on Friday and have opportunities to look at the minutes and the uh, payments for claims and those types of things. So sometimes we go over those pretty quickly at a city council meeting, uh, but don't be alarmed, they've uh, checked them out pretty well. Which leads me then to the standard agenda item number 1A, the approval of the June 26, 2019 council meeting minutes. So move. There's been a motion by John. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Jen. Questions or clarifications? Hearing none, all in <coughs> approval of the June 26, 2019 City Council meeting minutes say aye. 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 Those opposed? That passes four to zero. Tonight we have uh, two sets of uh, claims for payment. One is finishing up the fiscal year and uh, the other one is for July the 10th. So I'd, I'd entertain a motion for approval of the claims for payment. So moved. Moved by Jen, is there a second? Second. Seconded by Tim. Any questions from any of the council members in regards to the claims for payment? Hearing none, all in favor of the claims for payment say aye. 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 Those opposed? Abstain. Passes three to one abstention. Open business from the community. Hearing none, we'll move on to the mayor's report. Uh, tonight we will appoint two members back to the <coughs> library board. We're very appreciative of all the citizens that serve on our various community boards. Barack Obama once said, the best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. That pertains to volunteering. There are many areas in our community that need people to step up and help. Please consider giving of your time and your talents back to your community. We welcome the new West Sioux principal, Lynn Kopak, and her family to the school district here. Please give them a big welcome when you see them in our community. There are many opportunities for socialization coming up, such as the Calliope Village Car Show on Saturday the 13th, the Community Block Party on Wednesday the 17th, Crazy Days downtown on July 18th. Along with the Block Party, the Hayward Public Library has many other events happening there. We want to thank and acknowledge Lynn Van Belegoyne with her store, New Life Christian Books and Gift Store for being a part of the business community for the past 30 years. She has decided to close her business at that time, and we thank you, Lynn. Also, blessings to the congregation of the Big Springs Baptist Church as they celebrate their 150th anniversary. And lastly, uh, council members Travis and I are working on the evaluation form. We're kind of blending some uh, this evaluation form for Mike, the city administrator. So once we get those questions blended, we will get those to you uh, to start that process. We'll move on to staff reports, and we'll start, please, with Jacob Stoner. Okay. <clears throat> As some of you guys know, I was gone last month for some military uh, training. Um, what we did is we provided medical services to the cadets and cadre going through Cadet Basic uh, Camp Course at Fort Knox, Kentucky. <laughs> During the summer months, there are about seven to 10,000 more people on Fort Knox for this training. So it's usually all those in uh, college that are enlisted in that course to become uh, military through that uh, aspect. So my specific team provided dental services seven days a week to accommodate the training schedule and minimize the interruptions to the training. Um, we included five dentists and eight assistants and we had one lab technician with us. And then we treated over 200 patients, fixing any symptomatic cases and returning them back to training. 
um, for the city work here. We have ended our last uh, fiscal year. So I have implemented the new budget starting this year and our pay increases and some other stuff associated with that. Um, we began the audit process and collecting and sending information over the next couple of months with our auditors. And uh, <coughs> next week I will be attending clerk school in Ames to start my certification process for the city of Haywarden. Good questions for Jacob. And uh, thanks for the update. I appreciate your service on the Army. Appreciate the update with that. Travis, Public Works Director. Um, the water tower will get a washout and uh, inspection July 19th of this year. Uh, this is done on a six-year schedule. So in three years, we'll do the water reservoir, the inspection, and the washout. That just keeps going every three years. We do one or the other. Um, precision concrete cutting um, they are in town this week to work on some trip hazards we have on our city sidewalks I've included some pictures um, we started at the fire station city office pool and library um, there's a before right in front of the community center see where the blue is that's what they're that's what they grind down what it looks like in the after picture this was a large step up the the concrete really settled so there was a almost two inches that shows how much that they took off and ground down and it's a gradual ramp uh, for lack of a better words now there's a they have a vacuum um, attached to the the cutting saw that takes up most of the debris and and uh, dust so we're going to continue um, to do this um, we'll budget for it for the next year or two um, to keep going on our walking trail and through our park um, we'd like to extend this service to the businesses downtown residential sidewalks um, of course this would be at the owner's expense we um, we feel that the pricing would be much better to get them back here and hit a lot of area um, right now it's roughly average sixty dollars per sidewalk cut which is way less expensive than tearing out the the sidewalk and replacing sections so um, the more information will come out in the spring um, we've added new additions um, coming up into two city parks yesterday we received a new zip line that was purchased through grant money um, it will be installed in the central park um, we also have a new swing set and engineered wood mulch for the park and frog pond um, the old one has been removed and the site's been prepped we've just uh, needed to stop raining and dry up because every time it rains then it holds water in that, that area um, speaking of rain it's also slowed our efforts to patch the city streets and they've been affected by the bad spring the frost heaving so the areas that need patching must be swept first and then they have to be dry so the mix adheres to the sides and it stays in place so I just want to let you know that this is a priority for us to get the streets fixed um, and we'll continue to work on it as effectively as we can so straights I've had thank you I've had a few uh, citizens say well what about my street and it's like yeah on my street and so that's that's a yeah, that's there's a reason so right. it takes some time and like the zip line do you take to start that out do you take volunteers from council members first or how does that work or, is there, <laughs> right. or for me is there a weight limit or anything like that or? it's really gauged for kids from 5 to 12 but okay. you know some kids that are older can okay, well. sneak down there and use it I'll just, I'll just stay on the slide then all right thanks Travis Mike uh, summer rec baseball softball and golf had finished up I don't have the exact numbers but we had uh, quite a few kids out uh, it seemed to be a really successful season of activities um, Jesse and, and his crew did a great job with that and we thank the umpires that came out from the stands and helped out um, we've been approved for a state revolving loan fund sponsored uh, project and what that is that's based on what we need to borrow for the uh, 
a water treatment plant. So it's going to be approximately $317,000. So what that project does, it has to reduce stormwater runoff. So uh, one of the main projects we're looking at is uh, the parking lot out here of doing um, where, where the parking lot, where the seal coat stops and then the, the cement approach starts on the east end. Uh, we're looking at putting in anywhere from 15 to 35 feet wide of pavers with tile and stuff underneath it. And as the water runs off the parking lot, it will go into there and then it'll stop it all from going into the street and into the stormwater. Um, then we would like to um, do some more improvements to the parking lot, get a more permanent solution than, than what we have, something more aesthetically pleasing. Um, you know, we're thinking that it might be a good time to concrete the parking lot um, and, and kind of finish off what we started here uh, so many years ago. So once we get more uh, word from DNR and approval on that project, we'll be bringing it back for approval to move further with the rest of the parking lot. Um, Jeff Carr's building that uh, burned a few weeks ago, talked to him today. They're still waiting for the DNR to give them approval. Uh, for the asbestos that's in it. They had to send some samples in to see what asbestos theirs was and um, they just don't seem to be moving very quickly with that. Today with the high winds we had a lot of that steel and stuff along the alley that was starting to blow off so um, they had people down there that was pushing that in to secure it better but as soon as um, they get their permits they'll be in to tear that down level that lot off and um, right now his plans are to rebuild in that spot so um, he is or is it is is yeah um, something to do with the insurance companies and they require you to do that or something so uh, that's where we are with that so that's all great thank you hi Larry Cope hey there um, we've continued our outreach and that uh, and we'll continue uh, indefinitely. Uh, in front of you, we've got uh, a printout that I made for the council, and basically it goes through the businesses that I visited with. Um, there's roughly around 109, 110 businesses that we've been able to put together on the list. Uh, kind of our interaction with them and um, uh, how we met them, whether it was in person, via phone call. Uh, and then also if there were some that um, we have not been able to connect with. Uh, so we will continue to um, try to meet those that we have not connected with. And then, of course, uh, in a cycle of anywhere from three to six months, we'll cycle back to some of the others um, if we don't interact with them in some other way, like they're planning to do a expansion or they need some assistance in some other way. But this is just our ongoing business retention uh, program. Uh, we're also um, working with a couple of our local uh, manufacturers right now. We'll expand it to other employers to post their employee recruitment ads on Northwest Iowa's Development's website and their Facebook pages. Helps get it out to a wider audience. Uh, we actually got some place today. Um, we are also working on and actually have it now approved and ready to go uh, an ad in our local newspaper. If uh, you've seen the back of the uh, local newspaper, there's a whole color page of advertising. There was a very inexpensive way to be able to get in there. And you rotate through the smaller size ad and then once every few months you get the longer, bigger ad. At that point we'll plan to add maybe um, classes or other information uh, that um, we can fit into that extra space. Um, and then we're continuing to work on our uh, demographic and our property database. And I've also been working uh, to update some things on the city's website pertaining to community and economic development. Great. Thank you very much for all this information. Thanks for your good work with that. Corey, anything from the police department? Yeah, we're uh, looking into um, a tranquilizer gun to deal with uh, dogs that are at large, especially ones that are very unapproachable by myself and everybody in the police department as well as other people. Um, you know, I'm dealing with that last uh, uh, vicious dog complaint. We're really trying to make sure we have the tools necessary to make sure that everybody's safe. and. Uh, um, we're looking at different uh, brands and stuff, but uh, we need to find a way to get the medicine that would help uh, 
you know, tranquilize the dog safely and, and then get them out to the vet. So we're still trying to get everything put together, get a policy thrown together, run it by Jim and, and go forward with it. But um, that's one of our, our biggest goals right now is to get that done. Um, also the, the door on the police car, everybody always asks about. So um, we're, we're trying to get a perfect match um, instead of replacing the whole thing, uh, the company takes a very long time to get that done. So we're just waiting for it to get done in here so we can have it put on there. But uh, other than that, uh, still working nuisance abatement. We've been quite busy with other calls right now, but uh, we had a safe 4th of July for the most part. We did have some people shooting off a little bit later than they were supposed to. And uh, I know I came out that night and drove around and just asked them to put them away. And, and uh, most people complied it wasn't much of an issue so hopefully that's that's behind us until next year so that would be the end of my report and then just to reiterate uh fireworks or until we get if i think the new year december 31st if they want to shoot them in the snow they can but correct we're done we're done okay thank you and thanks to the citizens for being done mr pickner I don't have anything to report tonight. <laughs> That's okay. Any questions uh, from council for staff members tonight? We'll move on to council comments, please. Um, I just want to elaborate a little bit more on the crazy days that we have coming up on uh, Thursday, July 18, uh, part of the events committee as well. So I'm just going to give another shout out for that. Uh, there's a lot of things going on downtown um, that evening. Um, a lot of collaboration between some of the businesses and also all of our local businesses have given a lot of discounts and they're working really, really hard to, to um, gain your business and everything. So just encourage everybody to go out, shop um, all downtown throughout the week, um, look for everything that's, that's going on. So thank you. Good. Thanks for your work on that committee too. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of time. Anyone else? We'll move on to other agenda items. We're going to do the oath of office for Dave Pusey and Denny Peters. Have they been reappointed to the library board? Oh, you have some great uh, you have some great board members there for the library board, and uh, so I'd like to reappoint uh, those gentlemen. And we'll start with Dave, please. I, Dave Pusey, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Iowa, and that I will faithfully and impartially, to the best of my ability, discharge all the duties of the Library Board for the City of Hayward, as now or hereafter required by law, dated this 10th day of July, 2019. Good. Well, thank you. Thanks for re-up, and we appreciate that. We're going to have you sign. Uh, Sign the official one, okay, if you would. Just don't read the small print there. Right, right. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. Sorry for your eye. There's no small print. No, no, if you want to sign this one. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and, uh, well, it's an honor to do it. John Thank you. We're all some great members. Yes, we do. Yeah, they're good people. I'm going to say yeah. Thank you. Watch your step as you go. Yes, I, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Yeah. Watch your step coming up. Yeah. Make it a key. Make it a key. Yeah, fancy. I think he's an even. Constitution of the state of Iowa, and that I will faithfully and impartially, to the best of my ability, discharge all the duties of the library board for the city of Haywarden as now or here, hereafter required by law, dated this day of July 2018. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I'm not sure he's scheduled for the August meeting, so. Again, we can't emphasize enough how important volunteerism to our different committees and our, our different boards here in the community. They spend a lot of time and energy, and we have uh, fantastic <coughs> volunteerism in that regard, and we're very thankful for all of those members, and to uh, Dave and Denny for, again, being reappointed. So we appreciate their time and efforts. Agenda item number three, this would be the third reading of an ordinance 710. This is the ordinance amending the code of ordinances for the city of Haywarden by amending and adopting the service rules. We've gone uh, through the first and second reading. I don't know if there's any other questions or clarifications that staff or, or council have at that regard. Um, hearing none, I'd entertain a motion for the third reading of ordinance 710, please. So moved. A motion by John. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Jen. I'd uh, entertain a roll call vote, please, for the third reading mm -hmm. of Ordinance 710. Olson? Aye. Feldhacker? Aye. Bergsma? Aye. Kurth? Aye. On a four to zero roll call vote, the third reading then of Ordinance 710 passes. Agenda item number 4A, this is a public hearing on the proposal to enter into an electric revenue loan agreement in the principal amount not to exceed $2,950,000. I will open this public hearing at this time. Uh, staff members wish to make any comments in regards to this project? Um, this is for our transmission line in South Feeder section. Um, they do an up to amount on that because we have not um, actually bid out the South Feeder section. So what they try to do is make sure that there is enough in this ordinance that if it went higher than, than what the en engineer's estimates were, um, we have that capacity if council wishes to move forward. So they're going to start the South Feeder project this fall. Engineering this fall with a construction start next summer. So. Were there any public comments sent to the city offices in regards to this public hearing? No. Any council members wish to make any comments? Public comments? Lori's not talking. Okay. Uh, hearing no comments, we're going to close the public hearing. This then leads us to the resolution 2019-36, taking additional action on the proposal to enter into an electric revenue loan agreement. The additional action is the passage of this, of having the public hearing and then passing this resolution so that we can move on to the next step, which would be at the next meeting um, of actually um, entering into the loan agreements. So this, this resolution is another necessary step because Iowa Code says that you have to have, quote, other action. So this resolution is our other action. So moved. Second. And, uh, Moved by Travis, seconded by Tim for other action, or better known as Resolution 2019-36. Roll call vote, please, for that resolution. Feldhacker? Aye. Bergsma? Aye. Kurth? Aye. Olson? Aye. On a four to zero roll call vote, Resolution 2019-36 passes. Agenda item number five. Resolution 2019-37, this is going to fix the date for the public hearing on the proposal to enter into a sewer revenue loan and disbursement agreement to borrow money thereunder for principal amount not to exceed $3,750,000. The public hearing would be then being held on August the 14th. 14th, not 28th as I have it in my memo. 28th as in the menu, August the 14th. Questions about Resolution 
I hear no questions. Is there a motion for their approval? So moved. Moved by Tim. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Jen. Roll call vote, please, for resolution 2019-37. Bergsman. Aye. Kurth. Aye. Olson. Aye. Feldeck. Aye. And a four to zero roll call vote. Resolution 2019-37 passes. With the wastewater uh, project, uh, we are going to be amending the code of ordinances for the city of Haywarden by amending the uh, pertaining to the wastewater utility rates. This is the first reading of Ordinance 712. Uh, overview from Mike or Travis with this, please. With the with the amount, of course, we're going to have a payment. It's all um, on the wastewater uh, loan that will all be paid back through revenue um, generation. So we have to amend our rates. These rates came from D.A. Davison, who had to figure out what our rate was. Um, it has to be 10% over what our payment is to make sure that we have enough to cover it. Um, these numbers are recommended from him with the th with the $30 or with from D.A. Davison and the uh, 225 per 100 cubic feet. Um, we did one uh, raise of our rates back in <coughs> September or something like that. So this will be the second one and hopefully our final one for... Uh, a few years anyway so is there a motion for the first reading of ordinance 712 so moved moved Second. by Jen seconded by Tim roll call vote please for the first reading of ordinance 712 Kurth aye Bergsma aye Olson aye Feldhacker. Aye. Ordinance number 712, the first reading passes 4 to 0. We have no consent agenda items this evening. Our next regular stated meeting will be in uh, two weeks, July the 24th, at the same time. Uh, again, we'll continue to do uh, good things for our community. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Moved by Travis. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by John. All in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Those opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thank you so much for being with us.